my friends, I'm Serenity Dawn, and welcome to the story. Oh my word, it's that time of year again. It's time for Booktubeathon 2018! Yay! Oh goodness, Booktubeathon is a special thing for me because this time last year, I posted my very first video for that really kicked off my booktube journey with y'all and so this is like my one year anniversary and what better way to celebrate them with kind of what kicked it all off which is booktubeathon and it is going to be happening this year from June 30th through August 5th and there will be Twitter sprints and there's gonna be Instagram challenges and there's gonna be video challenges and of course the book challenges and that is what I'm here to share with you today is my TBR for the book challenges for Booktubeathon 2018. So let's get into it shall we? The first challenge is to flip a coin for your first read. Now as I'm going to be using some of my other books for the challenges for this one, I decided that we're gonna save that till the end. Something to look forward to. The second challenge is to read a book about something that you want to do. Now something that I have always wanted to do and I kind of did back my uh, freshman year of college was that uh, go on a road trip. Um, I went on a mini road trip at the beginning and at the end of my summer teaching job and uh, that was really incredible and I've always thought it'd be really fun to do a longer one. So what I'm going to be reading for that one is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. I have never read any Morgan Matson books but I've heard a lot of great things about this author and this book so I thought let's check this one out. Plus, I've altered it. Look at those pretty end pages. I know it doesn't necessarily go with this part, but if you take off the test jacket, look how pretty it is. <gasps> huh? Okay, sorry. I just had to show that off because I thought it was so much fun and pretty and just, oh. So Amy and Roger's Epic Detour will be for challenge number two. For challenge number three, you are supposed to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. Now for this one, I thought it'd be really fun. Ooh, I should have pinned it onto my head. For this one, I thought it would be really fun to bring my kids in on a challenge this year for the book challenges of Booktubeathon. Last year, they did one of the video challenges with me because they wanted to do something with mommy. And so they did this cute little video with me last year and it was just, oh, it was such a good memory. It was a lot of fun and it just, was adorable. I've, you know, I just love it. I thought it'd be cool to bring them in on a book challenge this year. And so I got The Little Prince by Anton de Saint Esperi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that properly. I should have looked it up. But I've never read this children's classic, nor have I seen the movie adaptation. And so I thought this would be an excellent one to share with my kids and to experience myself as well. So that's what we will be reading is The Little Prince. Ooh, hello, pretty end pages. And there's like fun little illustrations too inside of it. So I thought, you know, that'd be a fun read over a day or two with them. For challenge number four, we are supposed to be reading a book with green on the cover. Now, I do have a book that has green on the cover, but um, I thought it'd be really fun to do a buddy read with some of these as they asked me if I would be interested in doing that with them. And I was like, oh, yes, please. So um, hopefully, hopefully I will get that from my library. Um, I should. I should be getting it in the next few days fingers crossed uh because I'm next in line and it's due up soon so um as long as I get that I'll be able to do the buddy read with her and we are going to be reading Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver and yes there is a movie to that so maybe I'll watch the movie too 
but yeah, this I think is my chunkiest book of the Booktubeathon because last year I had a lot of chunky books and I tried to do all the challenges and it just didn't happen. I missed a couple of challenges and I didn't quite get all my books. So I, I, I pared it down. Plus I have teacher practicums for three days of Booktubeathon. So realistically, I can't read a bunch of four to 800 page books and try to do the challenges and be a full-time mom and wife and various other life stuff. So, you know, you do what you can. For challenge number five, we're supposed to read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. Now, I know what you're thinking, oh, but you've already got a hat on. <laughs> I do, but this is not the hat I'm planning to wear. I may, I may wear this one, but the hat that immediately came to mind and the book that I thought would be perfect for this challenge are, look at this darling, isn't it gorgeous? I just love the 19, late 1920s, early 30s vibe that this hat gives off. I just think it's so adorable. Plus, I feel like this is the perfect hat to be reading when I read the graphic novel Spectacle by Megan Rose Gedris. Now, I was sent this book a few months ago because um, I won it in a Goodreads giveaway, and so that's really exciting. But I've been saving it for Booktubeathon, and now it's here, and I finally get to check it out, and I get to it worked out perfectly because I have a hat. I feel like it just kind of matches the vibe and feel of this graphic novel so well. So, um, this hat really, I don't know if it really goes with this but not really. So we're just going to take it off. For challenge number six, we are supposed to read a book with a beautiful spine. I love this because there are so many gorgeous spines out there. I have quite a few on my shelf. I was like, nope, nope, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let myself do a reread. So that knocked out quite a few of my books there. But then I was like, okay, okay, truly beautiful. Hmm, am I going to go with like, ooh, or wow, that's so descriptive. <laughs> like just colors or font or like image or the combination like I don't know that was the difficult part for me it was just narrowing it down and like I looked at my I scanned my shelf and I was like when something caught my eyes like that's it that's the book I'm reading which is really exciting because around this time last year I read a book by this author and I absolutely adored it I need to reread it because I enjoyed it so much. And um, that author is Elizabeth Thama. And the book that I'm going to be reading this year is called Monstrous Beauty. But look at this spine. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. It's got these blue and green iridescence and like indigo. Oh, so pretty. And then you've got this gold font but if you look at it closely it's not just gold it's got some bronze and some copper um, and even green undertones mixed into it I mean it is just on this black uh, matte black in the middle it's just it's stunning so pretty um, I mean the cover is gorgeous too don't get me wrong but like this spine is just like whoo honey now what's also doubly cool is that my library um, recently got the audiobook for it. So if I'm super busy um, this coming week and I need so you know more than just to visually read it, if I'm busy working and preparing for practicum or with the kids and cleaning and so on and so forth, then I can listen to it as well as read along with it visually or whatever. So that's incredible and I like that as well. If you're keeping track and counting along with me, that's five books, right? So we need to go back to uh, the first challenge, which is to uh, flip a coin. Here I have this really pretty silver dollar. Um, it was a graduation present um, from my mailman, actually. It'll also be nice and uh, visual for the coin toss. Now I have not flipped a coin in I do not know how many years. I used to do it all the time when I was a kid because, hey, it's fun, you know. It's just fun. <gasps> Holy cow, I just got it too. Um, but I did not say what books I'm gonna be reading or heads or tails or anything, so that doesn't count. The books are 
The Lost Tools of Learning by Dorothy L. Sayers. And this is a wonderful little book that was recommended to me to read as a teacher and as a parent and um, a fan of classical learning. So I thought that I definitely need to finally read this sucker. Um, it's not it's not a huge long book at all, but I just haven't done it. I haven't sat down and put put the eyes to the page. Um, the next book that I am going to be pitting it against is The Little Prince. So we have The Little Prince and we have The Lost Tools of Learning. Two very different books. This is going to be heads because a lot of people associate learning with the head and the brain. And we will do The Little Prince as tails because, you know, birds fly. I don't know. Tails. I don't know. It has an eagle on it. We're going to go with it, people. Okay, just work with me here. So, heads, tails, what's it gonna be? All right, so let's do this, shall we? All right, then. And the winner is, oh, it's tails! It is gonna be the little prince. Um, did I show this to you? No, I didn't. Tails! Ooh! Da da da! Like Alright, anyway, so I will still need a couple of books to complete seven books. So I'm still going to read The Lost Tools of Learning. It just won't be my first. And since I like having the freedom, and this is already a fairly confined TBR for me because I'm very much a mood reader. Oh, that is something else I've learned. I'm much, very much a mood reader and being confined by TBRs is not really, not really good for me. So I kind of left the last two open, but I'm thinking I'm going to read The Lost Souls of Learning as that one. So really I only have one official open spot. And so I've got a little list stack for you to see my possibilities for my last and final seventh book, which is read seven books easy. Isn't that, isn't that great? Every year, read seven books. If I want to continue on with the nonfiction, learn something kind of thing, I'm going to be, I'm just in a flipping mood now. Uh, the Teaching from Rest by Sarah McKenzie. Again, this was, came highly recommended as a parent and as a teacher. Um, so teaching from rest is a possibility. If, however, I feel like I want to read a, another contemporary because it is summer and I want something a little bit lighter or fluffy or just easy peasy kind of thing, I will either be reading First and Then by Emma Mills or The Statistical Probability of Love by Jennifer E. Smith. So there's those. Or <laughs> last and final possibility is Infected by Sophie Littlefield. If I want more of a dystopian action, fast paced kind of a read. Those are the four options that I'm getting myself as possibilities for my seventh read. So we will see. Um, these are most of the books that I will be reading. Just add a couple more to that and uh, you got my stack. So yay. This is so exciting. It's gonna be so much fun. Ah, not even a week, y'all. We're not even a week out. It's gonna be great. If you've read any of these uh, and you have a, you know, strong suggestion, please let me know in the comments down below. If you've read any of these others that I'm definitely reading, hopefully, hopefully, for my do it on, um, let me know that as well because, like I said, uh, these are all new books to me. Um, none of them this year are rereads and, uh, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really hoping that I can read all of these books. I'm really hoping that I can participate in the challenges. I have been looking forward to this all freaking year. I was with some family and friends during the 4th of July when I got the little pop-up notification saying when book Tubathon was going to be this year. And I got so excited. I was like, I'm doing it. My husband was like, I've got finals for my MBA that week. I was like, oh, cricket, I'm still doing it. And I'm like, and then I found out I have teacher practicums that this coming week too. So I'm still doing it, y'all. Join me. Root for me. I'll cheer for you. We can encourage one another. Um, if you created a TBR uh, video, let me know in the comments down below. I definitely want to check it out. I've been trying 
to look through everybody's TVR videos um, that I can. Obviously, you know, I'm not a robot. I can't do it constantly. And there are a lot of wonderful, you know, people, everybody's, so many people are participating and that's really exciting. If you are not, however, doing a video, but you are participating in Booktube-a-thon or another readathon, um, and you want to share your uh, reads or one of the books that you're reading, I would love to hear what it is or the one that you're most excited about or concerned about even. Um, let's talk about it. I hope that you have a very blessed day and don't forget to enjoy your story. If you enjoyed this or you want to keep up with me on my journey or just to, you know, keep the conversation going, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notified when I do post another video soon. And I will see you soon, my friends. Have a blessed day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.